This year's coverage of Mining Disrupt 2023 is brought to you by our sponsors. Dynex Coin, Hivon, Conceal Network, Alfium, Jingle Mining, Yeti Audits, Deep Miners Pool, The Beginner's Block, Doge Lord Coffee, and WhatToMine.com. Check out our sponsors linked in the description below. Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and we're back this time. We are at the Arctic Systems booth, and look at the size of this dry cooler. It's freaking huge. And then here's the immersion container right here. Uh, looks like we already got some ASICs in here. It's like shells of the S19s, uh, you know, J Pro, stuff like that. We saw this giant dry cooler and this immersion tank set, being set up yesterday, and we just had to come by and check it out. Well, they don't go together. I, I would assume that's the big boy. Yeah. yeah. Little for us. Little for you? So there's, there's, there's a bigger boy. But it's a bigger one. Yeah, the, uh, our typical looks like, like this. Um, oh, snap. Yeah, exactly. Big as a container. Yeah, that's wow. um, a megawatt. There's that's what? This, this one's uh, only 50 kilowatts. This one will have an even smaller one, about the same footprint. About the same size as the container. 25K. Okay. And it looks so like you can sit hell, six. Six miners running yep. 4 kW each. Uh, There's mainly uh, S19s in here right uh, would you still be able to run like an m30 something the like what's miners or anything because they are a little done. taller because they're a lot taller we've done specialty tanks for them that uh, that it's optimized right because you got to optimize the flow intervals. right right so extend the life of your main asset increase the efficiency performance of your servers heat energy recapture when applicable improve and this is what immersion cooling does for your equipment. It will save the lifespan of your devices, which is why I love it. So you said that container we saw a picture of was one megawatt. The one that he showed us was one megawatt. That's correct. What's the biggest you guys have that you've done so far? Well, like, our, our systems are modular. Okay, so, so you can scale depending on the job. So here's one where the modules are all put together. See how long the, yeah, the thing the tunnel is? is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is um, six megawatts, all connected together, and then outside it, uh, standing inside our laser, you can it's, see all the dry coolers along the side. But we found that they actually perform better on top because you don't get any leaves and dirt being pulled sucked into, into the yeah, right. yeah yeah so you're up there where the airstream is you get better cooling on them and then you can see oh, there's one in, uh, above it yeah, yeah. They, they're running air systems as well on, on that site but uh, nice that's a 40 foot container uh, with uh, one megawatt, so, uh, but you can see. But uh, yeah, Andrew is uh, one of the designers. He did this. Uh, a part of, uh, I don't know if you saw it, but there's no plugging or unplugging cords. They're all down here. Uh, your Ethernet connection, your two, so that. How oh, nice. So, so that when you. So when you set it in there, it just plugs in. Nice. Yeah. yeah. This one might be a little rougher. Nice. So you can see it's flush here. So it's the, already there's, there's no reaching your hands down at the bottom of the tank full of fluid in order to. There's your Ethernet, and then there's your two That's power ports. That's pretty smart. Andrew, do you have a tray with you? Uh, the tray there. In the trailer? Yeah. We have snappy trays. And you think that's a trivial thing? But that's one of the features that this thing, it's got a tray here, so you pull this out, you set it in the tray, and it all drains back into the tank, so you're not slopping yeah. fluid all over the Oil floor. all over the place, coolant. Maintenance right. is a constant thing. You know, it's the little things that, that guys like Andrew do better than anybody I've seen. Andrew, when you built this, did you, did you have it stamped or uh, CNC'd? Uh, we got a new laser in July, and it's like cuts ten times faster. So this is just us screwing around and we'll playing around with new designs. Yeah, 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 it cuts out fast. I just want to see. That I like it. 
I, I, like I said, it caught our eye yesterday when we were seeing it, when we were looking at walking around. Because we were here during the setup process. Yeah, we mainly use lasers, bed machines, and uh, welding stuff. Same thing no for the making your dry cooler? This is uh, that's the machine. One of Andrew's new toys. <laughs> yeah. This is oh, a, that's awesome. This is the yeah, tube cutter, yeah. but you can see the other laser sitting over here on the side. That would be a game changer for our containers. Then you can have rebuilt roof and just snap that same. Yeah. Nice. Hmm. Right. So the whole the whole application is dependent upon what the facility, location, warehouse, farm wants to do. Once you guys identify how many machines they're going to run, what kind of cooling capability, like you work with the farm to help them kind of design all this, right? Yeah, so... So like you showed me the container where there were six of them back to back, right? I'm guessing the centerpieces were cut out, you ship six different containers and then you put them together, right? Correct. Okay. That's good stuff. Well, and this, this is ideal for, say, a small business or uh, someone that wants to use waste heat to cool. Waste heat reuse. Right. And what you would do is use this for, say, shop heating or, or whatnot in the wintertime through a flat plate uh, heat exchanger that would sit in the bottom. Uh, and then bend it to the outside during the summertime, and that way you're reusing that heat right along with it. Heat recycling has been growing a lot more lately, as far as whether it's heating your home, your water heater, your pool, whatever. Like, it's not just gonna be for big locations, it's gonna be for small scale applications as well. Yeah, the reusing of the greenhouse use for multi megawatts, but. I think this is beautiful uh, to have in your shop, right? Just for that reuse on, on a small. And if it's all self-contained, you know, it looks like your HVAC system sitting out back. Right. Do you have a smaller one with just a single fan? Yeah. That's what I figured. That's what I figured. All right. Go figure. It's about this size. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for your time. What was your name again, sir? Mike. Mike, pleasure to meet you. Andre. Drake? Andre. We can Andre. help you. Thank you so much. Give me a call. Got it. Thank you. Appreciate you. We can help contribute to your uh, content. Or... And that's the Arctic right. Systems booth over here at Mind Disrupt 2023. Uh, make sure you guys like, follow. I'll find links and put it down in the description. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.